U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Where are you going? Supporters sort of come out of the closet. America, several tons of 100 years old. My mother started taping at the birth of the 24-hour news cycle. She was saying, well, we've got to get this. Nobody else is going to keep this. She hit record and she never stopped. She was very mysterious and very private. She lived in the richest part of the city. She had nine homes packed to the gills. She was a hoarder. You know, she hoarded everything. Who decides what's normal? I think maybe a re-examination of what is normal is, is in order at this point. My mother was enormously controlling. It was a long point of contention between her and me about my boringly conventional intellect compared to her. You know, she was definitely spied on by the FBI. You don't want me in there. No, you make it work. You have kept me out of your institution. You want to start faith in the democratic process, make it work. The child fell while playing with other toddlers yesterday morning. I don't think a lot of people knew the real Marion. Taping these programs for my mother was a form of activism. She wanted people to be able to seek the real truth. You need to deal with people who are living a different reality than yours. She was obsessed with how media reflects a society back to itself. Those in power are able to write their own history. A lot of craziness produces a lot of brilliance. And I think there's something kind of brilliant about what Marion Stokes did.